Hello, Nick here, and today I'm taking a look at a super, super early version of Return of the Obra Dinn. Obra Dinn? Oh, I'm gonna say Obra. I could get it wrong for the entire video, that would be embarrassing. But uh, this is a game uh, that is very, very much in the early stages of development from Lucas Pope, who uh, you may know. There he is, look at him, that's him. Uh, you may know him as the guy who created Papers, Please, the critically acclaimed, well-loved uh, paper game. Bureaucracy simulator. Um, alrighty. Little warning about the earliness of it. Uh, this game attracted me uh, partially from the pedigree of it being a, a Lucas Pope joint, and partially because I think the art style just from screenshots looked fascinating. This is my first time taking a look at it, so I don't really know what to expect, but let's see. Ah, uh, jokes. Alright. Okay, so I feel like right away you can get a really... <laughs> find the crew muster roll book. You get a really clear sense of what sets this game apart visually. Um, even from that second and a half. Yeah. It's, it's this two-color monochromatic art style. And it's not monochromatic the way most games that are in black and white are. This is like very literally... There are two shades happening here. And every pixel is either one or the other. I want to just like... Like, the shadows look so good. This seems like... Uh, I don't know anything about making video games, but this feels to me like it'd be a really tough thing to accomplish in a way that's still legible. Like, I I have to imagine early attempts at this art style were very unclear. But, like, I feel like I can see everything that's going... Uh, I don't know. It's very neat. Okay, I'm going to look up here real quick. I really doubt that the, uh, the homie I'm looking for, the crew log, is here, but... Oh, look at the, look at all the beautiful stars in this guy. I'm really gonna be excited to see how YouTube compression handles a game with a with an art style this distinct. I'm hoping it holds up. I'll upload it at a uh, 1080/60 with a super duper high bitrate, just in hope that it uh looks nice. Okay, locked door. Oh, there we go. Ready? Can I interact with this? Sorry for all the spacebar noises I'm making. Okay. So the controls are pretty much just WASDA for moving around, the mouse for looking around, and a spacebar for interacting with stuff. Um, kind of like that I can keep holding onto a door without interacting with it. I'm just be like, ah, ah, just door touching simulator 2014, and then space again will open it. Somebody said something about my box. So, let me try the last door here. Alright. Oh, shit! This is... This spooky skeleton was not here a minute ago. Alrighty. Gonna go find this box. Oh, still can't get over this sky box. Alright, here we go. Here's my thing. My heavy-looking box. There's, a th there's something in there. Remember death. Alright. I'm gonna use... Do I use this skeleton pocket watch on this skeleton body? Alright. Oh, dip! Uh-oh! Huh. Open the door! Kick it in! Let me break it down and take more than those shells! You bastards may take exactly what I give you! Alright, so here is someone shooting a gun. Okay, I think what's happening here is this is the exact this is the moment that skeleton became a skeleton. Alright. He was this okay. So was he in here, and this was the door that was they were threatening to kick down? Let's see here. There's a little bit of ash hanging in the air. There's or blood actually. <laughs> All right. Let's see what's going on up here. Look at that. That's kind of awesome looking. <laughs> Right, 
what about you? He's got a knife in his mouth. Alright, I guess I observed all there is to observe. With my death my death my death note clock. Alright. Ooh, now this is open. Another skeleton! Multiple skeletons! Alright, I'm gonna figure out how all these people died one at a time, but first I wanna take in some of this beautiful sea air. Alright. Tell me your story, skeleton. Okay, not a gun death this time. This is just a good old-fashioned knife death. Is this the dude who I ran into? That's a good mustache he's got. I wonder what the models in this game look like before the uh, effect is applied. All right. What else happened? Oh! Another man, another knifeman descending from the sky. Alrighty. I feel like... Is there more to see? Oh, let's see where he's coming down from. I feel like a lot of these people died at similar time. Yeah, see, he's he was just killed. He's not a skeleton yet. There's still a lot to take in here. All right. Hmm. He leapt down from here, I'm assuming. All right. Learned some stuff. Okay. Alright. Now what about you? Tell me your story, skeleton. Going backwards in time. Woo! A lot of death noises in this game. Ugh. Oh, is that a bone? Oh, he's got a... He's got a stick. Oh, man. Look at all that blood and splinters. Ah, that looks really cool! Sorry. Oh, that's... Pretty rad. Alright. Damn. That was the moment he became a skeleton. Okay. This dude is outliving everybody. So, this was the dude, I guess, who was coming down with the... Yeah, there's his knife. Oh, he actually got the knife in him! Alright. It's... I feel like I'm learning. You're still super dead. What did you drop, though? Or is that a shell from a gun? Alright. Hmm. I feel like that was the last dude on the ship, though. He just killed him. So, tell me your story. So is there a, I wonder if there's a finite timer? Like, when the hour hand reaches the middle there, I, yeah, got it. Okie doke. Back outside, I guess. Oh, no, over here. Alright, another another room, another skeleton. Oh, a sleepy skeleton! <laughs> Good night. Good night. I got, a no, I got a no sleepy skeleton story. Oh! Alright, sleepy skeleton. Shit! Well, it looks like I skipped a skeleton. Um, the fate of two crew members can be deduced at this time. Well, there is one skeleton I skipped, so if you are interested in your own skeleton adventures... Uh, actually, maybe I can still... 
I have to know. Sorry. All right. Abigail, your brother, my friend. I shot him dead. I'll be with you soon, my love. Hmm. Oh, is it a suicide? Please forgive me. Oh, man. Yikes. If you're gonna go out, I feel like using an old-timey gun is not the worst way to do it. Alright, how much time do I have left? Oh, Abigail is still alive. Okay. But where did the blood come from? How did it get all the way over here? Is it just... did it splat? No, it doesn't look like a splatter. I am pretending to be a detective. I do not know how murder or suicide works. Uh... Oh god. I've got just a few hours left to solve this mystery. So he's... is he the dude? He's the dude who fought all those guys. Okay. But why? What did he have? He had some sort of... Is there some sort of treasure? Something went in the sea? They wanted his sea treasures? I... Uh, I I'm love... Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's all there is to see of the development build of Oberdin. Um, if you want to know more about this game uh, and sort of follow its development, you can follow Lucas Pope on Twitter, and there should be links in the description below for all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I do videos like this all the time, so if you subscribe, you can see more cool little indie games. Uh, yeah, see ya.